Great American Eclipse created bow waves in the atmosphere. Don't look at it, unless you're the president. The total solar eclipse in August of 2017 left bow waves in the Earth's upper atmosphere, like a boat sailing through water. The bow wave theory says that a total solar eclipse will create high-pressure pockets under the moon's shadow that slice through low-pressure air as the shadow moves across Earth. These air pockets then generate small bow waves in the atmosphere. Researchers from MIT and University of Tromsø in Norway collected data from around 2,000 satellite sensors placed across North America and for the first time detected tiny bow waves in Earth's ionosphere. The researchers said their study reveals complex interconnections between the Sun, Moon and Earth's neutral atmosphere and ionosphere. Where'd the Sun go? Earth's atmosphere will go on the fritz during the eclipse. The Great American Eclipse is going to do a lot more than just make the sky go dark for a few moments. When the eclipse takes place on August 21st, part of the Earth's atmosphere will be affected. The ionosphere is an area of the lower atmosphere that protects the planet's surface from ultraviolet radiation. This radiation electrifies atoms entering Earth from space. This radiation stops temporarily during the eclipse. This is expected to impact GPS, radio and other communication and navigational devices. The ionosphere will experience conditions similar to going from day to night and back again during the eclipse, and NASA will examine this short interval to better understand it. The space agency is funding 11 investigations into what takes place in the ionosphere during the eclipse. Staring directly at the solar eclipse could really mess up your eyes. If you're planning to watch the Great American Eclipse on August 21st, then you need to know the dangers of staring directly at the sun. Staring directly at the sun during an eclipse can cause solar retinopathy. Symptoms of solar retinopathy include loss of visual sharpness, blind spots, changes in color vision or distortion when looking at straight lines or grids. Heating of the retina by one or two degrees is enough to damage retinal cells, which can occur within 30 to 60 seconds of staring at an eclipse. Eye experts advise anyone watching the eclipse to use eclipse glasses or the pinhole box method. Partial lunar eclipse to take place this week. An eclipse is said to take place in the Eastern Hemisphere, but it's nothing like the Great American Eclipse taking place later this month. A partial lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth is between the Sun and the Moon, but not all are perfectly aligned like during a full eclipse. The partial lunar eclipse on August 7, 2017 begins at 5.22 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time and is expected until 7.18 p.m. Part of the moon will orbit through Earth's shadow at a speed of 2,300 miles per hour. It will be visible to most of the world, except all of North America, much of South America, and some areas in East and Northern Russia. Unlike solar eclipses, no special equipment is needed to view lunar eclipses. A clear night sky will suffice. Mother Nature is about to totally freak out. Animals are going to act weird when a total solar eclipse passes over the United States later this month. Scientists say when the moon begins to move between the sun and the earth, we could see hooved animals lying down and hear songbirds fall silent. Eclipse chasers report seeing dolphins and whales swim to the surface of the ocean five minutes before an eclipse. Meanwhile, others talk of llamas gathering in line to gaze at the sky or of spiders dismantling their own webs. According to scientists, an eclipse can disrupt animals' circadian clocks, convincing some it's time to go to bed or prompting nocturnal creatures to come out and hunt. Researchers at the California Academy of Sciences are asking citizens to take part in an experiment by reporting animal behavior during the Great American Eclipse on August 21st. They want to know what all kinds of animals get up to, including domesticated ones. For more info, check out the iNaturalist app on the App Store or Google Play, or go to www.inaturalist.org.